Ladies and gentlemen, hello, it's V-Build time. V-Build dead, but I'm alive, and I'm V-Building some Repro Labels. These were actually sent over by Repro Labels for the purpose of being looked at. These are a whole lot of glare. These are the Repro Labels that are, for a limited time, available for a penny uh, for MP28 Rodimus. I think you have to order something with them for the penny to happen. Anyway, I'm going to start applying them, because that's what we do here, and I'm going to start with the Money Makers, the Earth Shakers, the 3D printed printed well yeah printed it's a label you print labels anyway it's not like a 3d printer but it's three dimensionally printed stuff for tire treads to give rodimus a little bit more elevation so the treaded ones are the rear wheels and then these untreaded ones are the front wheels and i think there's a spare front wheel one i'm going to give this a go and we'll just see how it goes applying them this is interesting to me, like, I, I, as time goes on, one thing I think about is how does a, a company, or how does a, a, you know, a maker or something reinvent what they do in a way that, you know, keeps what they're doing fresh. This seems like a way to keep what you're doing fresh is to start printing textured tire treads for toy cars that turn into robots. So I, there's no guide to how to apply these, I'm just assuming that if I keep it fairly straight and roll it onto the tire, then generally life will be good when we reach the end. Let's see what happens when we reach the end. Okay, it looks like life is okay. Still seems to roll decently. I was curious about how the rolling would work once all of these are on. I'm going to do all of these for you. We're going to do the whole hawk. The big daddy. The... Something grandiose sounding that talks about the all-encompassing nature of the word that I am attempting to put together. Am I getting this centered on the tire? I think. Well, it's going on. That's really all... That's the, the main thing, is that the tire tread goes onto the tire. Alright, that probably went on a little bit crookedly, but it also still seems to be rolling. A test roll. Oh, I can feel it. Like on the front, there's a little bit more a little bit more oomph up there. Let's do the treaded ones, and then we'll see how this works with all four tires and textured. These rear tires are also a little bit bigger, so they get to have all this fancy pants treading this vaguely realistic tire texture on this entirely realistic space car. Let's thread you onto here. I'm a little nervous when I get to the end, because I'm like, what happens if I get there and like everything just looks different? But no, it seems to work. There's a bit of a gap there. Maybe I put this on a, a little loosely, but the tire still rolls. That's got some meat to it now. Let's do the other one. Uh, the moment these got announced, on the Facebook group, at least, I saw just mass calls of, like, make just tire treads for all the Masterpiece cars. I, I would be inclined to agree in many cases. Um, any any Masterpiece Autobot what has flat wheels uh, might be nice to, to get some texturing going on. I'm going to lock the focus. And then let's pound this texture on this tire. And by pound, I mean slowly while sweating thread it onto the tire and hope to god that things go okay. Let's see. Yep. Okay, same size gap. I guess that's just how it works. Alright, moment of truth. Do you roll? Do you feel like anything when you roll? That's ah, rolling a lot easier. Because usually when I try to roll this guy, like, the clearance is there, but, like, forehead here tends to start dipping and then I hear a dragging noise every now and then. Alright, that's cool. While we're here, let's do one of these wheels. And then we'll go to the other somewhat complicated bit, which is for the rear wheel. Let's do a front wheel. Let's do some front of car. I stared at the sticker sheet for a little while to try to deduce what's what. Like, there are spares on here. Um, mostly it seems spares for the small wheels, which, like, I think that just goes with the notion that it's it's partly about providing spares and it's partly about this would otherwise be wasted space in the label sheet so why not just fit this in there this is not an angle for which the tweezers are going to play nice is it uh, go on there right 
I think that went on there, right? And I'll do a full hubcap dab. There we go. Well, that looks fancy. I want to keep this fresh. Let's do the big, the big one, the hoodie sticker. Hoodie, it's just the hood, it's the hood. I'm doing the sticker that goes on the hood. Why am I calling it a hoodie? Why am I being silly? This is a moment for me too. I decided I'm gonna, since this was provided for review, I will apply every sticker. I don't particularly know about some of these more toyetic stickers. But then again, like, I've got a little pockmark scratch there on the paint on my hood, so it's not like I have a perfect hood. These are, these are beyond first world problems that I'm having. These are, uh, I don't even know what you call these. Like, this, this is like, this is like, oh my god, this place does not sell Kobe beef. I only eat Kobe beef. They're selling local chuck instead. I don't know what that'll do to my complexion. Uh. Cue somebody in the comments telling me all about Kobe beef and why I shouldn't be holding in such high regard. I don't. It's just the first word that popped into my head. I think I applied this right? I, I could not honestly really tell you. Like, it looks... Okay, it looks like it might be a little bit off. But it looks right over here, so... Mm. Spoiler alert, you can remove this and it doesn't take the paint with it. I just tested it. Alright, how does this look? This looks nicer in person than I thought it would. Maybe it's because these two bear patches are back there, but hmm. Let's cover them up and then see how I feel. I'll also cap this knife before it rolls off the table and goes into my leg. I gotta I gotta look at the picture. Oh look, they even they lined it up on the sheet so that I wouldn't have to look at the picture. I wasted their time. Alright, I'm gonna line up this top edge first. And foremost. Hmm. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm also going over in my head, like, you know, this was provided for the sake of being filmed in a promotional sense. So I didn't pay the one cent for it. And I was just going over in my head, man. If I just say, wow, this looks better than I thought. You know, how shill does that come off? But then again, how much can one shill when one is given a one cent sticker sheet for free? I don't know. Have that conversation with yourself. This, uh, hmm. I think their photography with the flash, like, to get the metallic sense to come out, like, and made it look darker, and in doing so made me not as into the idea. But in person, I don't know. I'm feeling something. The bright side is... This is a penny. In my case, it was a penny minus one. So if I decide to just tear all the stickers off, I can go get myself a replacement super easy next time I order some repro labels. I'll probably do that anyway, just because I'm a weirdo. Alright, this next thing I'm going to put on is a correctional thing, you know, quote-unquote correctional, to make this maroon stuff a bit thicker and a bit more visible, a bit more like there's an actual border around the windshield. There's also a sticker where I'm like, I don't know the science to apply this one, buddy. Why are you asking me? I'm just the dumbass with the video camera. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. I can't lean in closer because I'm filming this, because I'm a genius, so I need to use my camera to help me see how close to the edge I'm getting. But then I have to look away from what I'm doing, so it's not actually helping all that much. So this is just helping you guys out. You can... You can all go like, no, dumbass, you're not on the edge, what are you doing? If you do want to leave that as a comment, like, don't give context, just yell into the air in the comments section at nobody in particular. No, dumbass, you're riding too far from the edge, why are you doing this? Oh, like, full disclosure, if I see that comment and I forget that I said this, I might go like, hey, stop picking on someone in the comment thread, don't be mean to them. which point, you know, quote me the time code. At which point, Hi me! You forgot you did something stupid. Don't worry. You told them to tell you you did something stupid. 
Like, how deep can we go with this? Oh, I need to recenter this sticker, and it's got thin edges, and I did it. I ripped it. Okay. I'll just put it down such that no one will ever know I ripped it. Alright, and that's up to you, the viewers. Don't tell me I ripped the sticker so that, you know, in, in a couple weeks when I look at it and think, huh, is there a funny looking border on this? I'll go to the video and then I'll just look in the comment section and everyone will be like, oh, it's great how he didn't rip the, the sticker that goes around the windshield. And I'll be like, huh, I guess I'm just crazy. I can see the effect. This effect looked better in the photo than it does in real life. This one looks better in real life than in the photo. This one doesn't look as good as in the photo in real life. To me, anyway. Interesting. There's one more thing that goes up onto the center of the, uh, the roof to, I guess, finish off this effect and get the metallic swish to carry all the way through, and that is this... I was gonna say pentagon, but it doesn't have five sides, and then I was gonna say tetrahedron, but it, it has all these extra little ridge sides on the bottom, so I'm just gonna say sticker that goes on the roof. And you are to line up with that, are you not? So why don't we get you in a position where I can actually do that? Hi! Alright, there we go. Gonna let gravity do some of the work. That's alright. Uh, there are also stickers that go on here, but they are ridged to go around stuff that's under the hood and under these squares. I feel like those will be better served to be done in robot mode. Which brings us to the back. Alright. I'd actually been looking at these. I, I didn't see this on the picture until just now. Where these little grill... These black grill pieces go. They go into the matching sculpted pieces on the back here, which are also unpainted. Why don't we put these on the tweezers? And This is becoming a running theme. When I'm going to tweezer stickers on something, why don't I orient it so that it actually makes sense how I'm doing things? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Let's do one more. So we just follow the theme of doing half the stickers and then moving on. And we should move on. This is already going longer than I thought it would. There will also be a, uh, a shorter just review of the stickers video up uh, alongside this, which is something I've only done one other time, I think, with their Prime Knockout sticker sheet, because I, was, I, just, I really like Knockout, and I was like, hey, an excuse to make another video about a Knockout. In this case, stickers for the one I reviewed already. Um, for whatever reason, I also just fell out of doing reviews of Repro Labels and just doing these builds. But, I want to I make a nice short video to go with this. And uh, also because it's, there are a lot of folks who tend to refer to these V-Builds as reviews, and I'm starting to get scared because I'm like, oh, these are, these are terrible reviews if these are supposed to be reviews. <laughs> okay, so, the tricky bit we gotta do now... Uh, I wonder if I can do this while leaving the whole front together where it is. Because we got to get it a screw. And to get it that... Oh, we can't. Yo, yeah, look, I did them all. These were way easier to do when there wasn't a camera under my face. Weird. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to do the big wheel axle hubcappy things now. Uh, I would have used that sticker and that sticker, except I won't because those are gone. I wonder, I wonder why. Uh, so the way you got to do this is you have to remove a screw. And this is kind of weird, so you got to go into this screw over here, right? Yeah, and uh, I think if you get this out of the way, you could then thread a thing through there. But I, can't, I, I I'm just gonna give it a shot. If I just jank it in here, it seems to, to play nice. Yep, the screw's turning. I'm not stripping the head yet. And there goes the screw, for the most part. Get get out of my way. Get out of there we go. Now, to get at that wheel so you can apply those hubcap stickers more easily, you have to angle this thing out of there and then turn it. It's still connected over here. Uh, I would also say get this out of the way. Turn it around like that. Now it's super easy to apply those stickers. It's so easy, in fact. I'm gonna do it right now! Where are my tweezers? I found them. I thought the screw was just moving on the desk and for a second, I thought it was a tiny beetle. Because apparently my short-term memory just ain't on right now. I'll switch it on later after this shot. Oh man, now it's at a distance again. 
Generally, when you're going to apply these repro labels, what you should do is not film yourself doing it. So you can just, you know, get your face nice and close to what you're doing. You can line things up a lot better. It's just best practices, really. When doing things, don't do them with a camera under your face. And then they're a lot easier. Alright. Second try. I'm going to lean in. And I'm going to hope that this is still in shot while I'm leaning in. I'm leaning as best I can, but around the side? It's still not happy with this. There we go. There we go. Oh, now you, now you can see it too. There you go. Wait. Is this... This should have been lined up. Why is it playing all funny over here? Hey. Fella. One sec. That was quite simply a troublesome sticker. It just didn't want to play. But I got it on there. So, let's see if I can do it again. Oh. Sorry about that, Rodimus. <laughs> He's like, what did you do to me? Uh, I knocked you over. That's what I did. Who, you know what? The writer of Transformers Deviations Transformers the Movie, What If Optimus Prime Didn't Die? I, th I think that writer would be cool with what I just did. Eat it, Rodimus. I got one person on my side. Alright. Oh my god, I'm doing this as difficult as I possibly can. There we go. Can you not? Can you not do that? Can you just look nice and not fold it? Thank you. Alright, there we go. So, now that you've done that, swivel this back around, load that back in there, and then pop the screw back in. I ain't doing that on camera, because it's hard enough to get it to, to line up in there and play nice, so we'll be right back after this. We back, it's time to get all robot mode, it's time to put some things on Rodimus's forehead. Those are my next sticker subjects. They are, uh, from the top of the sheet up here. They're gonna go up here and match up with the detail on his helmet. And I think they just rest happily along the raised bit. Yeah, that's kind of a cool effect. I'm just gonna do the one, because I'm gonna do my half and half thing just to go over uh, the full gamut of what it is we're putting onto this guy in his robot mode. He's got black stickers that go into those things. They're cut to fit the divots. I just gotta see which shape fits what, I think. This one here, next to the red things, goes into that shoulder. You see, there's like a little, little butt-shaped hill here that I'm matching it up to, because that's what it's designed to match up to. I think that worked! I think that certainly is meant for that side. It seems kind of small, though, for the space it's occupying. Anyway, next up are those shoulder stickers that I aforementioned before in the vehicle mode. So, we're gonna want these to match up with that cut bit there. Alright, here we go. There's my focal range. Line up one side, line up the other. There we are. And that is not as intrusive as far as the reds as I thought it was going to be. Still don't know about how I feel about this. I know it's like a toy detail, but I, I think it's a bit much. Like, maybe if it was just these triangles, but then what are you placing them against? Like, you need the guideline. Don't know how I feel about that sticker. Speaking of things that have guidelines, or lack thereof, down here on the corner is this thing, with the, the bordered rectangle. That just goes onto Hot Rod's collar. Like, it just goes there. It goes here, and you want to try to center it, but you're just sort of placing it there. I feel okay about that. Yeah, the main crotchial central wedge 
It should fit right over that raised sculpted piece of detail. Let's see if it does. Let's have a nice shiny crotch. I think we got a nice shiny crotch. We do. And then there are some bits that go on either side from these things here. Let's line that up with the curvature. That seems like a nicely cut sticker. Yeah, I kind of like that effect. Pop over to sheet dose. We're not done with the 3D printer sheet yet. Nothing textured, it's just this is where some black stickers are going to come from. These little wedges here are going to go into those little kneecap divots. Well, above the kneecap divots. It's to add a touch of definition to what's already there, I suppose. It looks okay. It's one of those things that I think you could have painted in if you really wanted to, but instead you could just fall down. There's one more kneecapial thing. It is, uh... One of these maroonish wedges. Come with me. This is going to go on the kneecap proper. Well, the kneecap of the boot. Uh, nothing goes on the actual kneecap. That's that, that kind of ring-shaped thing there. That one's escaping unscathed. But now we've got a touch of detail on the Cavalier boots. We're going to put a big piece of detail right here on the front of the Cavalier boots. A big piece of... Stop falling over! Ah... Uh. Match this up to the top, I believe. Whoop, whoop. And this is the other one, like much like the arrows up here on uh, the biceps. These things on the fronts of the uh, the calves. Not sure if I'm going to keep that there. It's toyetic, but it's toyetic in the way that I'm okay ditching. And that leaves us with the buzzsaw, the final subject of stickerage. The final receiver of one of the th four types of stickers on the black 3D printed sheet. Just these things. What do they fill in? The thing that's shaped like them, right there. Let's see how well this fuzz does not like fit perfectly in the gap, and it's already looking a bit... I'm gonna use the knife for this one. Come on. Flip up. I don't have a spare of you. I mostly want to avoid using the knife for everything, so I'm not like using a knife for everything. Cause tweezers, technically, should be a slightly kinder tool for this kind of stuff. But what you gonna do? There's one that goes on the other side as well. Uh, last thing is these thingies. We're gonna make the saw blade look like a real, a real boy saw blade, not a, a fake saw blade. I'm just gonna use the knife for this because it, it's a blade that we are bringing to life. So why not use a blade to apply the blade sticker, the serration sticker? This is not a serrated knife, but that's besides the point. Uh, so I want this to go right on the outer edge. That's that's not right. That's not playing nice. Come on. I know you can do better than this. Saw blade. We'll get a bit more hands on with this little m mother blader. I think this is making itself go crooked as we go. I'm not sure. Hmm. I guess it looks okay. I guess. It feels weird, but I'm not sure what else could have been done, because this is following the curvature. I'm going to try the other one. We'll do a full saw blade, and then we'll see how that looks. Also got to do these things, these, these red things. I forgot about those. Got to line this end up with this end. Oh, this is not a kind sticker at all. All right, well, I got the edges lined up, but I need... Don't just stick onto it now. Like I lined up your edges, but we gotta. Okay, I'm gonna put my finger on the adhesive because I'm. There's, this is a. This is a rude sticker. This does not play nice at all. Come on. With the top. With the top, boy. You can do this. 
You trained for this. This is your moment. Your moment to shine, to make them all remember your name. I'll remember your name, Spirally McSerated Sticker. Uh, oh my god. Well, look, I got it lined up, right? Oh no. These I don't like the sticker. I'm I'm not going to do the other one. This is not having this is not doing anything that I need. It's just doing things I don't need it to do. But there was one other uh sticker that we need to apply. Uh this goes on to the bottom of the side of Rodimus's leg. What's focus? I don't know. It's thrown off by the giant shiny piece of paper that I keep waving in front of the camera. Alright, here we go. This is gonna this is gonna be nice. This one's gonna be a good one. We're gonna remember this one. For years to come. They'll sing songs about it. That's crooked. No one's going to sing songs about a crooked sticker. We don't sing about crooked stickers except to tell all the baby stickers what not to do in life. And uh, one of those things would be, what you're doing right now. Let's try lining up the other side. <laughs> Alright, so you want to line it up with the inside of the ridge, I guess. Yep, there we go. That's a sticker. We'll be right back and you'll see this all complete. Boom! Hey, I did it. I figured it out how to get these to line up. Uh, kind of. The trick is not very clear to describe, but I lined up two of the edges here. First thing I did is I tried... When you saw me doing this first, I was applying this to line up with the outer edge. So instead I tried applying it to line up with the inner edge. When I did that, then there was too little space instead of too much space. So I applied it kind of along the inner edge, and I lined up two of these parts, and I lined up the other two parts while both halves were able to have the C-shaped stickers stick down on the two edges, and then it, you know, it would balloon up here. And while it was ballooned up here, I'd start unsticking and re-sticking stuff until it all stuck down kind of flat. And now it works. I still don't think this is a very good sticker. The rest of this, though, is pretty fine. I still think the arrow things on the biceps and the fronts of the shins look... Uh, a little bit too toyetic for my taste, so those might come off, but the whole gamut is here. I'm going to film a review for this as well. Um, it's an easy enough set to apply aside from the, the saw blade bit, so you know if, if you aren't feeling anything looking at this, then just skip the saw blade bit, and it's, it's a fairly easy set to apply. Thanks for checking out this V-Build. I uh, hope this has helped in case you got this set and don't know where parts go. To be honest, it's pretty easy to suss it all out going by their diagram. This one's not too crazy hard. But man, these like tread things. The uh, well, the other ones are inside here, way inside here, incredibly inside here. These tread things, I like that. I want to see more of that. I wouldn't e I wouldn't mind seeing just dedicated tread sheets available on their own. Uh, I know that's not really the rubber labels thing, but hopefully, tr more treads for tires can happen. As for me, I'm gonna tread on out of here, and that's that's really all I that's all I got. That's all I got for the ending. I'm gonna tread on out of here as in walk away from the camera. Do, 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 do.